just continuing on from where we left. 1892, one win and we will be hitting 1900. Uh, it will be a great feeling if we could do this. This is our highest point ever. I suspect the next game we're going to be the black pieces, which I'm not really strong at. Okay, it's plus seven for this game. Should I just back out? I don't want to do a plus seven. I don't even know what the fuck the opening is, so. <laughs> oh, plus ten. Wow, this guy's too strong. We gotta give it a shot. We gotta give it a shot. We can't uh, shy away from these challenges. Okay. Get our night out. The only way you're gonna get better is being better players. Okay, I think we've got the Scotch here. Okay, yep. Yeah. Got the Gambit. People at this level love playing this. Um, yeah, get the knight here. This is gonna take. And then we get the bishop out. Take, take. And yeah. So that's basically the whole of the Scotch Gambit. And get this piece out. And then this is the move. And then we castle. Then this is gonna happen. I go here. This is gonna happen. I go here. This is gonna happen. And then I go here. Or that. That happens to you. But that usually happens later. I don't know why that happened now. It's kind of confusing me. Take. All right. Well, this could be the, be the move, but it always says this is wrong. Like, literally always says this is wrong. I think it prefers this. Okay, let's go here. I'm just going to follow the general thing the engine tells me is right. I'm just going to go for this. Oh, wait, I didn't calculate something here. Oh, God. Take. Oh, shit. I might have just lost a piece here. Wait, take? I think I have to take here first. Yeah, yeah, I didn't really think this through. Yeah, I always need to check for the opponent's captures. Hopefully it'll be fine though. Actually, I think he just wins a pawn even if this happens. Oh, he plays that directly. Oh, to protect this. Alright. So, I think now I could play that. I can't do this because just takes. I think, yeah, this pushes with, I think we just take that. Can't take this because I'll check. This, and we're threatening to take, take, take. I think this is the idea. If he just, again, I didn't calculate if he takes. But I think it's fine. Again, this is the move. Putting pressure on here and opens up this. Okay, he takes there. So if I take, I don't want to capture right this way for sure. If I take, let's say it takes here, and we take with the rook, it takes here, check. So now this whole thing doesn't work because there's a check. So I'm going to take. There's a double attack here. I think he's just going to probably take here to relieve the, the pressure on this, I was going to say, because the queen defends that. But when I take with the rook, oh, he just defends. Okay. Understood. Oh, what if I play this? Take, take. Oh. Huh? Yeah, attacking the queen. Can the queen move somewhere? That could cause me issues. Queen could possibly do this to protect this. In which case, I think we just come back. This, what about discovery? Again, the discovery doesn't even work because of this check. I don't think so. We're going to take. And um, we're threatening to take here. Because we're attacking the queen and this at the same time. If takes, we just take and we're cool. I believe. And we take here. And then maybe bring this other rook over as well. But we don't want to be too slow. If there's a direct attack here, I'm going to go for it. So I see this. Apparently the rook's in the way. And also this is defended. But there might be another opportunity to win another pawn. I'm also attacking this pawn. Also, maybe pin this to the queen. There's lots of ideas. Not sure which one's the right one, though. Let's see what he plays. One thing I would not do is move this. I don't think you could actually move that without getting into a lot of trouble because of the discovered check. Maybe I could win the queen or something. Okay, he okay, activates his rook. Okay, well, take, 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 check. 
So it will be two pawns up. Take, he just takes here. Don't think it's good. I'll bring this over. Am I in a rush? I think this is more direct. We need to make sure I take this. We could always just trade with a check, take, and take. I don't think it's too bad. Oh, there's a skewer. But what if he just takes? Take, take, take. And I'm and I have this. Should I do I have this now? Just takes. If I bring this over. I don't even want to calculate that. It's taking too much time here. Take and we will go for that. Um yeah, okay. Just need to make sure we will take here. If he takes, we just take a check, so no problem. Two pawns, and this is coming, so maybe he would do this or something. But I'm also attacking this and this, but this is defended and probably always will be. But I'm setting up a discovered check also. Yeah, that was the main idea. So I think he got to take it. Okay, there's a discovered check like this, but he takes it. Oh, what about this? Doesn't that win that check? Looks like this. I don't know. Discover check and I win that, no? I expect the resignation soon. Blocks. There is this. There's a queen. I'm just going to take it. I'm not going to. Uh, okay, this is protected. Move here. I want to set this up. This is pinned. Oh, I see it. <laughs> oh, what about this? Check. No. All right, let's play this check. I don't want to get into time problems for sure. I think he's just going to tuck himself in there. Or just moves back. Does this work? Yo. I'm going to play this. Because there's also double attack here. And I'm also attacking this. I'm attacking the defender. And also this. Let's take. How's he going? Can't defend this way. Can't defend this way. Because mate. Yeah, I think I'll just pick up another pizza. Okay. What is he going for? I'm just gonna take a check. Yeah, that's it. We just we just beat a nineteen forty nine. Well, it was a fifty nine. We just took ten points, and we are nineteen oh two. Let's go! Oh my god, we're just going up. Keep going up. Obviously, whatever goes up comes out. I'm not gonna get too excited. I could literally, you know, as it goes, you just drop so many points in one go. But here's the game review. I will show it. 92.6 versus 72.7 push yep so this is scotch gambit everything is book moves here and this okay it's all good all right here's some inaccuracy so yeah i guess on this line you don't do this maybe it's this yeah that does make more sense but because another line is literally like the other game it was this but it was a different line where they didn't play this first they played this first which is the best move so I expected that. And then you go here, this, this, and then they keep pushing, and then you play this rogue move. Yeah, and you're, and you're winning. So you might say they could just keep pushing, take, take. And you might say this is uncomfortable, but not really. You're completely dominating in the center. There's lots of ideas here. There's a lot of pressure on this piece. Um, and you could always bring the queen here. And not, I mean, you, you could take this pawn whenever. It's no big deal. Uh, yeah, so... And then he took, which I did not expect. And finally, yeah, it's the better way of recap. It wants me to take with a pawn. Oh no, it wants me to take with, wants to take with a knight. Um, well, I mean, knight is well placed. I'm not sure. Why? So, if I take this way, what is he going to do? You know when the response is not to even take the piece that you thought would be good, so that's why you moved out of the way. And the move is apparently this for them. Or just this, not even taking the trade. Well, I, you wouldn't want to because the rook's going to get in there. Again, too much pressure on this piece. I don't know. 
couldn't tell you. And here's a blunder, and I find it. Very happy with that. And after that, I just pincered him. Then, yeah, he made a mistake here and won the queen. I moved back this way, keeping pressure on this. Then I tried to grab this defense up with a check, and then a little fork here. It gives a piece up check. There's not much you could do. I've mate is coming soon. Like it's mating too, apparently. Yeah. I would have probably, oh yeah, play this. Go back, mate. Yeah, so that was a game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, that was a, I'm happy, man. 1902. I'm really <clears throat> focusing on your mistakes. And yeah, I'm really using the Aim Chess app. Like I literally spent like one to two hours doing the anti blunder thing. There's like a blunder preventer exercise there. And then there's also you go through uh, your own mistakes and you play again to get better and make the right move. So I think it's really helping. And let's see how far we could take this uh, upwards trajectory. See if we could take it further than this. But yeah, we just crossed 1900. Feels good. And yeah, see you tomorrow.